Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. A lot of you have been asking me about the epicenter maps and uh, yeah well <laughs> I did manage to capture a game on one and it, I, I personally find it is a very very interesting game mode unfortunately uh, it it's kind of like Golden Channel Supercharged it relies very much on your team doing the right thing. So here I am in the York and I'm top tier in a what is very very much a tier 6 battle by the looks of it and we're playing Frozen Shelter which is a map I'm super not familiar with it's one of the newer ones for the epicenter mode so let's roll and take a closer look at what we're up against West Virginia, Nagato, Fuso, Fuso, Double Trento and Nignevni okay so I'll, um, I'll just pause it very quickly here so we can have a very short look at the map itself now Normal domination maps give uh, in normal domination maps every capture circle gives you a given amount of points per tick. The in domin in epicenter maps the center circle like the one in the middle gives you six points per tick. The s the middle ring gives you five points and the outer ring gives you four points. That means if you hold if the enemy team is holding the center ring and you're holding the outer ring or that say the enemy team is holding the inner two rings and you're only holding the outer ring they will do they will get 11 points per tick and you will only get four so they will almost get three times as as many points as you will get which means that grabbing the center ring and then controlling the rings is of paramount importance you can lose almost lose the game on points halfway through if you don't control the rings so there's really, really no excuse for any ship whatsoever to not be in any of the rings. Traditionally, I would say the destroyers should be rushing the center ring. Uh, cruisers should be in... Ideally, the battleships would be in the middle ring and the cruisers would be in the outer ring. You want to In a cruiser, you want to be close enough to the center ring that uh, you can take enemy destroyers under fire. Because pushing the enemy out of the epicenter and into the outer rings is a good way of... Um, just getting a points lead very quickly. So let's go. We've got one destroyer on the enemy team and one destroyer on our team. Now I'm the only cruiser. No, I'm not the only cruiser. There's another cruiser. But uh, New York um, has kind of one thing going for her that uh, enables her to rush uh, the, the middle ring if you need to. Well, as first, uh, while, while she's a German cruiser, she's not as not nearly as sturdy as the Hipper, but she does have excellent high explosive shells. And she does have torpedoes on both sides of the ship. Plus she has a hydro. So it looks like our destroyer is of, has no interest to get into the into the, the cup. And our cruiser is kind of sailing around at the side as well. So uh, it's up to me to go for the center cup. <laughs> destroyer mode activate. Okay, so we're, uh, we're not capturing the outer ring. So there are at least two ships in the outer ring. Because I'm in there and I'm not capturing. Now they are starting to capture the middle ring. And um, okay, so... Well, uh, two of their ships have entered the middle ring at least and maybe something is still uh, running in the outer ring. Now we're getting to, to the center ring here. Okay, we are starting to capture the outer ring so there are no enemy ships in the outer ring. I am, dis I am detected which means the destroyer is around here somewhere and there's the Trento. Okay, so I am trying to get next to that island because you'll see that there's an actual, there's a very handy island here in... Um, that you can kind of tuck yourself into because I'm going to get under fire here a lot now. So I'm not even firing back at this point. I'm just trying to dodge everything that I can. And uh, it looks like the tre the enemy Trento is leaving the center, uh, the, uh, the center ring. But we're not cupping. That means the Gnevni is in the center ring. Now I do have three battleships over here and the Trento on the other side. And again, the, the York is not an extremely sturdy uh, German ship. But I have managed to go undetected, at least for a second there. Uh, until the Fuso was far enough around the enough around the corner to see me, and uh, obviously the main uh, danger is the three battleships. Now there's the Gnevni, and I have pushed the uh, the Gnevni has left the the center cup, uh, probably to go after that un uh, after th that unsupported battleship over there, which means I have now gotten the center. Uh, I am taking some harsh fire probably from the battleship around th on the outside of the circles there, and I've. They got double Fuso in West Virginia there, but that Fuso is pushing behind the island. So now it's only two, one Fuso in the West Virginia. So this is my chance to get out of here. Of course, the Fuso sends me, sets me on fire with the secondaries, and there's the Trento still as well, which is rather unfortunate. 
and I am really going to have to run because my team is not coming anywhere into the into the circles at all. But we are holding the middle ring and it looks like the Trento is leaving. So at this point I can abandon the middle ring. The Gnevni is outside on the other side. Uh, there's a uh, there's a Budioni just sitting there in, in the um, in the second ring. But look how far behind we are on points already, just from the fact that we haven't been able to hold um, to hold any rings uh, until just until just now. So now we are capping. So the Trento has left, which means we are now capping the middle ring. Uh, unfor unfortunately, I'm the only one in the middle ring, which means that Fuso over there has to die. And we only have one ship in the outer ring because all the battleships are completely go elsewhere and even the destroyer is somewhere outside. So now that the Fuso has left the middle ring, I am capturing the middle ring. So uh, this, and meanwhile, the Gnevni is back in the center. How do I know that? Well, the center is being captured and I don't see who it is. So it has to be the Gnevni. But we need to sink that Fuso first and then I can think about getting back to it. So now we we're holding the, the, the center ring. And we've got Fuso and West Virginia in the outer ring, but the other two are not there. Uh, so if we can convince any of our ships to get into the outer ring, we might be able to capture that as well. Okay, the Fuso is down. There comes the Gnevni from the middle ring. Okay, Budyoni, if you're a full health cruiser, if you could find it in your in your heart to do something about that Gnevni, that'd be awesome. Uh, so uh, just getting some shots out at the Gnevni, and then I do have to watch out where I'm going because there's that there's that Trento again. Now the Gnevni is out of the center ring. Budioni could go and capture the center ring, that'd be grand. Uh, Trento is not even looking at me. I think he's um, they're focusing down our two battleships uh, that have that are sitting completely outside the, all the circles. But um, if that Trento leaves the outer ring, and I think he's gone to, because our other battleship on the other side is entering, I should be able to capture the outer ring, which means I'm going to get to turn the guns around. I am currently not under fire. And there we go. You see, now we're, we're capturing the outer ring because we are two ships against, I think it's the West Virginia that's sitting there, which means we're now going to start finally holding two rings, but we're 200 points behind, even though we're even on kills. And that Gnevni needs to die, so Budyoni, if you might, if you might, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, now we've got the outer ring, um, and it looks like the destroyer comes back into the outer ring, so I can abandon the outer ring, and the middle ring we're holding it because Budyoni sits there and nobody else goes there. And I can um, I can uh, push the Gnevni outside of that center cup because together me and uh, Budioni should be able to get him out of there. Plus I have a Hydro if I should need it and the Fargoods coming in to help as well. But we are still two, over 200 points behind. Okay, so Gnevni needs to die. And uh, ra ra now <laughs> he needs to die very quickly so we can actually uh, capture the center ring because I am not capturing the center ring because Gnevni is in there and Budioni still isn't pushing. And the Fargood gets the kill on the last second, uh, which means we are now going to get the center ring back. But we are still about 150 points behind. We're leading in one kill. So I don't really have the health anymore at this point. There's a cruiser on my left, but all the battleships are sitting on my right. So I'm going to get behind this island. And uh, I've got 11,000 hit points. That means something like the West Virginia can almost one-shot me with this, uh, in this ship. So I'm trying to get another fire set. Uh, but we're going to need a miracle, so something needs to die very, very quickly. Okay, we're holding the center cup, but the enemy still holds the outer ring. Now there comes the Trento. They are ahead on points, still with a, with, a, with, a, with a good lead, and there's only one minute left. But we are holding two of the rings, so we are, capture, we are catching up um, quite a lot. So this is not a complete YOLO, and the West Virginia is pushing as well. So this is the right thing to do. Now we do have to kill something. I can't kill the West Virginia, and I can't get out there, because otherwise the West Virginia might just de delete me. There's a battleship on my left, I can just hope and pray that he's not firing at me, but has something to do with the destroyer and the battleship that are sitting there. Trento is pushing into the rings, but she's not capturing because, again, of the positioning. I'm just dropping my torpedo so he can't come around this way. If he's coming around this way, he's dead. Now he has to see those torps. Uh, okay, he's turning, which means he's, he's running right into the Budioni. Now come on, Budioni, I've done what I could. You can kill this thing. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, and we're killing the Trento. Yes, we're killing the Trento. We've got eight seconds left. We're holding all three rings, which means that um, at this point we are going to win this battle. And man, that was a close one. <laughs> and even though I haven't done a huge amount of damage, um, I still end up uh, getting the battle star and uh, or the the MVP rather uh, for for this. And we'll have a quick look at at what I've done. Yeah, I've captured four points. So if we pause this, uh, I have captured four points, Faragut has captured twice, Budioni once, and New Mexico once. And the three battleships that are dead 
on our team haven't um, haven't done any capturing by themselves. And in the enemy team, you'd see the Gnevni has done the exactly right, right thing and has tried to dominate the center point and take it out from there. And because Budyonny wasn't going in there and our battleships weren't going anywhere near the capture circles, it was down to the uh, German cruiser <laughs> to, to, to do that. But yeah, uh, this mode, you need to get these capture circles or at least prevent the enemy team from not having the capture from having the capture circles and make them not have the capture circles so at all times keep an eye on the amount of ships that is in the respective rings you can tra you can travel between the rings very very quickly much quicker than in a regular domination map with three caps so even if you're temporarily not holding a ring um, or you're not currently not needed in a particular ring because it's not threatened, but you have a chance to dominate one of the other rings, just move your ship. You don't need to move far. Just move a little bit into one of the adjacent rings and increase the number of ships because the more ships you have in a ring, the better your chance to capture the ring. And then keep an eye on where the enemy ships are positioning and which rings they are trying to capture. This is domination in its finest. It's about who has the most ships in the rings and holds the rings at all times. Because the points income is massive that you get from this. You see, we we've won, we, we, we had to kill two additional ships to make up for the fact that we've only held one ring for most of the game. Um, and if we hadn't had these kills at the end, there was no way we would have won this. So, yeah, that's Epicenter in a nutshell. Um, Center Island, very good. If you're in a cruiser and you don't have torpedoes or you don't have sufficient torpedoes, uh, don't bother ru rushing the center. It's, it's suicide. Or don't do that in higher tier games either because everyone will shut you down very quickly. But um, if you're in a battleship, by all means, you don't really have anything to do between salvos. Keep an eye on the rings, get into the rings, dominate the rings and make sure that if you're holding a ring and nothing is threatening it and you have a chance to capture one of the adjacent ones, then move your ship, please. <laughs> It'll make the game so much more interesting for everybody. That's it for today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.